Okay, this is looking alright. Not looking too great because I'm only one up. But it's alright. This shot though doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence because that bunker man, bunker right in the middle of everything. Please don't hit it. Good. Did not hit that bunker. So I have a reasonable approach. Reasonable in the sense that it's actually plausible to do, not that it's actually good. Bowser on the other hand is not making it there in two shots, so I do have an advantage. Well, I don't know actually, he could make it if he power shot it, but he won't, because nobody apart from DK knows how to use power shots. Actually that's a bit of a lie, I think Wario used one power shot. Nobody else has ever used one though, which is really stupid. That's one thing they do an awful lot when they go on to uh, the original game, is that they just spam the living crap out of power shots all the time. And yeah, it's very, very difficult to win when Bowser hits 280 and I'm hitting, uh, what's it, 245? Then put 10% extra onto that with power shots. He outdrives me by nearly, uh, by 39 yards. And his shots are pretty much perfect, so yeah, much, much, much harder than this. Not that this is particularly straightforward as we're seeing at the moment, but it's definitely not hard in comparison to that sort of difficulty level. Anyway, um, I'm going to actually just change this a little bit. It's it's a tough one to call, but because of the other hill being, you know, the left to right slope being downhill, I don't think I need to judge this as much, or change it as much. And again, it's going downhill, it's largely on the thing. I just actually could have judged it slightly more, but yeah. The point was, the hill was going, you know, a downhill slope is always going to affect you more than an uphill or a neutral slope, so that was my theory there, but I got it very, very slightly wrong. The power was nice though, so it wasn't too far away. This freaking hole, good god, I am so glad there wasn't a ring attack on this one, because man, it would be impossible if there was a ring attack here. Probably put the ring down here, and then expect you to go from there. That that would that would be what I would expect from ring attack if there was going to be a ring attack hole here, and it would be horrible, and I would hate its space, and uh, we'd probably still be doing ring attack right about now. So yeah, that's why I'm glad there's not a ring attack on this one. Uh, the wind is going to take that into the bunker, which really sucks. Or oh, maybe not, because I've gotten a favorable bounce and I'm actually on the fairway. I don't think that makes any difference whatsoever, to be fair, but at least it gives me a slightly better chip. And I'm going to need the chip because Bowser's going to get that and he's going to take this back into contention. However, I'm not too bad on chips today, so that's not impossible. Come on. Oh, well, not quite. Let's just see again. I know kind of where it went, but I just want to check. Yeah, just a bit too far on the other side. Too hard, didn't get enough of the hill. And Bowser's got this. Yeah, it was very close, but he's got it. So yeah, I guess I should probably show this off a bit more fully because I think I've cancelled it too early the last couple of times, and yeah. <laughs> you made Junior cry, you're a bad daddy. Anyway, hole 12. This infamous hole, really. I guess it's not terrible, but it is pretty infamous because we kind of screwed this one up quite a bit in ring attack, which was dumb. But then ring attack itself is dumb, so who really cares? Bowser looks like he got a terrible lie from there, actually, so it's kind of unlucky, really. I might hit the bomb here. I don't think I will. No because the wind takes it further across, so that's alright. And I have an okay lie, but it's really not that great considering I have to hit all the way over there, so this is not particularly nice. And that shot was only kind of average, but it keeps us up and it doesn't... Um, yeah, it gives us a chance to get onto the green from there. 
so obvious approach is obvious. Bowser cannot get to the green from there because of his terrible lie. So we're neutral at the moment. We're playing on the same plane, and that is that's nice. His chip is a bit harder than mine, though. But it looks like he's done a good job. A ah, freaking good job. <laughs> okay, so what do I want to try and do with this one? I think. And now I've got the terrible light, but because it's on a wedge and it's on an approach, it's not a well, sand wedge, it's on an approach, it's not too bad. I think I want that. No, I didn't really want the top spin. Nah, whatever. Um, too much speed going on. I don't know what the hell that was supposed to be, but it was too much speed anyway. Yeah, nice and easy pop up. Even though I screwed up the approach, it was a nice and easy putt, so who really cares? So once again, we are tied, but I have a one-hole advantage. Only one hole, but I've only got three more to win, so... If I can win one more and tie the rest, that would be kind of nice. Nice shot. The last thing I want though is for Bowser to win another one. Because that, of course, would make things too close. But, with that said, it is freaking this hole. Bowser's not done very well at par 5's just now though, so who knows what this one's going to turn out like. It's very difficult to predict the computers, you know, sometimes they do really really well, other times they just do absolutely terribly. I hit the fast fairway in there twice, that was fantastic. I still can't reach the green from there however, so it's not much of a benefit. Oh, non-star characters, why must you be so weak? I suppose it's just to get used to the game. Good god, that was close, Bowser. You kind of deserve the bad light. What the hell are you trying to make me do here? Are you fucking serious? I am not hitting that shot. No way. What I might do, however, if I, can, if I could have gotten across, what I would have considered doing was hitting that. You know, it would have been a risky shot, but if it would have been able to be possible, I would have hit that shot, because that would have gotten me across, it would have been a nice easy approach. Well, why am I using a power shot here? I don't need a power shot at all. Uh, probably should check where that's going first, though. Yeah. I don't need a power shot for that one, that's just silly. You're a silly cow. So anyway, that is a decent spot because I can now hit over the top of this and that is all well and good, but maybe not because that's kind of in the way. Um, that's not going to help either. Well, this is a high enough shot to get across, but I don't like the way this is looking because that's looking a little bit short because of the wind, but we'll, we'll do it anyway and uh, hope that it works. I'm actually going to topspin that because I've messed it up in a couple of spots, but, um, you know, slightly missed accuracy power. I kind of needed the to topspin to get onto the green. The fact is, I'm on the green though, and that's not unmakeable. Bowser's shot, on the other hand, looks very, very risky, and I don't know if it's going to work. It is, because it's freaking Bowser. What did you expect? Seriously. So Bowser has that putt, and he's going to get that, which means I have to get this. Which is not impossible, but at the same time I don't like it. It doesn't look that friendly at all. But I think it's okay. Yeah, no problem with that one. Yeah, Bowser's got this. Seriously, at this level... There's no way that's getting missed. If it was uh, somebody like, I don't know, Waluigi, you might think he could miss it, but at this level, no. It's raining on this hole, why? Now I definitely can't freaking make it. Look at the conditions for this. This is awful. Seriously awful. Bowser's shot was even worse though, but then he can still make it in two, which is what I'm going to have to do myself, I think. So... I don't think he's really disadvantaged by that poor first shot. Even though he should be. Because I go and hit the perfect first shot, but he's not going to be disadvantaged by that at all. Because look at this. 
can't even freaking make it to 220 yard with that power shot. It's just terrible. Oh, Jesus Christ, Bowser, control yourself. That was another awful shot. But he can still make it to the green from there. I kind of can't really, but I'm going to do my damnedest to try and get there anyway, because that's just what I'm like. Well, it's going to hit off of the uh, off the bridge. Is, uh, I, uh, that's going on the green. That's off the bridge, onto the freaking green. Wow. Okay, onto the fringe, but still, that was pretty wild. And Bowser has once again messed up his control. That's going to hit off the side of the bridge, and... Is he going to stick up there? No, he's not. But he is going to stick on the bridge itself. So, what a freaking weird shot the computer is having to hit here. That is just random as. But he didn't do a bad job from it. The thing is, that's for Bogey, whereas I am going currently for Birdie, actually. Which is pretty neat, to be honest. And this might go in. Oh, I'll tell you what, it has. I know it was a straight putt, so it wasn't the hardest one there, but even so, that is nice. Because of it being on the fringe in the rain, that is nice. And it's not like 10 foot away. Okay, this hole. I kind of want to just aim here, I think, because well, I'm, I'm wary of that bunker. So I might free with power. And that should, even with the headwind, that should keep me out the bunker. And then I can make a long approach for the next one. Yeah. 206, I can probably make that. I think I didn't see my lie there, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. Bowser's done just about the same thing, except he's backspun. Nah, he's further away though. So he's not going for the green. Nice shot! He head off the rock. Come on, man. Stop cheesing your way through this. Ah, it's not that bad, though, I suppose. Uh, oh, I got the perfect light. Great, so I can go for the green here. Slightly risky, but I'm going to do it anyway, obviously. It's not that bad. It's just if I hit it at this height and I mess it up, I might hit off at the side of the brick wall and go into the chain chomp. If you do land in the chain chomp pit on Bowser Badlands, there's no saving yourself, so... Oh god, um, that's bad. That's bad, that's bad, and that is going into the chain jump pit. Oh. Yep. No saving yourself. That shot, however, is definitely doable, and I just completely went. See, perfectly, perfectly doable. I don't understand why I messed it up that badly, but I did, so whatever. Uh, super backspin is excessive, so I'm probably going to get a double bogey off of that. Doesn't matter if he gets the birdie though. Free wood for the approach, seriously. It freaking worked though. God, Bowser, that's just mad. Look at that. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Anyway, he now goes back to one... No, one point within me, he could technically still win this. But it's another par 5, so I don't know if he's going to really do that well. Why is there a headwind on this one? And this fairly strong headwind as well, that's just not fair. Dude, this hole is impossible as it is. Lengthwise, not in actual difficulty. I only have two power shots left, are you serious? screwed up that much? I don't think I've messed up that many. Oh well, I'm, I've kept hold of that one at least, so that's okay, but I honestly thought I had more than that left. Bowser has a bit of an advantage on this one over me because he does have that really heavy natural draw, so he doesn't have to side spin around the, the womps, which I probably will have to do, but he's probably still too far away to approach that. Yeah, it's trying to get me to hit over, but I think I can... Hit the side, maybe? Please tell me I can get over. Yes, I can, right, okay. So I can hit to there. It's a little bit risky, but we'll do it anyway. Oh, please don't hit the womp. 
it's not hit the wall, but that's good. Uh, please don't fall off into the lava as well, that would also be nice. Nope, that's perfectly fine. And the piranha plant is in the way quite royally, but uh, I think we can get around it. Seems like Bowser's playing way safer than he should be there, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the piranha plant's gut. But yeah, we can totally get around it. That is fine. Not really an issue. I'm going to super backspin that because it is going to go very far, I think. Yep. But not as far as you might have expected because it was bouncing on an uphill. So that's fine. And where is this shot going? shot is going to stick on the green not too far away from the hole so I do need to make this if I want to win and well it's not great because this hill is kind of sharpish but I guess it's alright yeah it's alright that's pretty good Okay, so this is definitely going on a lot longer than it should be, but we have a dormy hole, and this is hole 17. So, yeah, this is definitely difficult, I suppose. Because it is freaking hole 17, definitely the hardest hole in the entire game, and here is the one chain jump you could feasibly escape if you were very lucky and bounced up there. But come on, seriously now, to be realistic. Um, where do I want to go? I, I would have liked to have gotten up there, but Bowser Jr. just didn't have the distance to get there. Up here is just about the only safe spot, but it's really, really far away, so I don't know quite what to think of it. But I'm going to have to try it, I think. I mean, after the last time I failed so epically on this hole, I don't really have very much of a choice. If I want to keep this competitive, I have to try and play safe enough. Don't roll down all the way. See, now I'm too far away to get a good approach on this, and uh, nice it's scary to think of. That was where I wanted to hit before, but you know I messed it up the last time, so it's like, oh jeez. But even that, that's not a particularly great thing either. You can, however, hit up here, so if you're only looking to par, which is what I am really looking to do at the moment, this is probably your safest shot. It's still not that safe, but it's your safest shot. Because now you should be able to approach from there. Looks like Bowser's taken a bit more of a direct approach, however, and he is going to land again on rock, but this time it's on the rough. However, he does have a safer approach than I do. Having said that, if you mess up an approach by going out of bounds here, you're, you're doing something wrong. Don't know if I need a backspin there. My instinct says no, but um, uh, I don't know. I don't think it would have been any better if I had backspin there. But yeah, there is the par strategy, I suppose, for this course, this particular hole. Um, Bowser is definitely getting that, so I really need to get this to seal this, otherwise it's going effectively sudden death. Well, with my advantage. That's not going to be hard enough, is it? No, not quite. It only just missed. Oh man, we're going on to hole 18 of a character match. It's the last one as well, so how freaking fitting is this? Seriously, it's going down to that, but I can still win if I do get this. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, now we get epic music because we are on hole 18. So it's like, hey, you are actually playing climatically. Time for some epic song time. Music fun, I don't know. Anyway, he's hit a bunker. So if I can land on the green somehow, then I would be in a good position. But I don't know if I can land the green from here, it's pretty tough. Ah, way over hit, way over hit. I'm hoping the super backspin might carry this, but I seriously over hit. It is a massive drop though, so who knows. 
Oh, it has as well. Okay, so I should be able to get that in. If I can't get it in, well, I can't get it in, but I have two shots to win anyway, so I'm okay, I think. Maybe. Oh, that bounced off the hill. Oh, come on. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, sink to win. Whole freaking 18. We have won. Wasn't the best of victories, but we have won nonetheless. And that ends character match. As a mode. Yeah, it's it's over. That's it. Done. I don't really count that as a win. I more count that as a tie. But, you know, that's just the way it has to go in the end, I suppose. So, yeah. Technically, two up. Should be one up, really. Because Bowser was getting his one. There we go, star character for Bowser. That's not all we do, we do get the ace skill level for the opposition, so now there are five difficulty levels the opponents can be at. We'll see that soonish, because when I do doubles, we're gonna have to set computer levels, so we'll see that. And yeah, that was actually fairly tough. All things considered, it took longer than I expected it to, and yeah, Bowser, you actually did well this time, congrats. Last time you totally failed, this time you did very nicely. So, anyway, let's take a final look at Bowser and see exactly what his stats are like. He hits 290, 290 yard drive, so it's again slightly longer than DK's, he's got slightly worse control. I think his control is the same as PT, so what the hell man. Uh, yes, it is actually. 5 bars, 5 bars. So, yeah, he has the same control as uh, PT Brana. Wow, really. Anyway, yeah, 290 yard drive is massive. There is no 295 yard drive in this game, which is slightly odd, but then you've got two odd drive lengths here, which is kind of, uh, kind of silly. So, it makes no sense whatsoever, but it's still there. So, anyway. This has been Game of Cow playing the finale of Character Match in Mario Golf Total Tour. And join us next time for something. I haven't quite decided what yet, but we still have a fair few modes to do. We don't have any of these, because I've already said I'm not doing that one. But we've got uh, this one, we've got Speak of course, we've got Coin Attack, Club Slots, Ring, Ring Attack is thankfully done. Doubles play, and then after all of that, we have the star tournaments. So it won't be the star tournaments next time, that's going to be the finale type of stuff. But um, yeah, we've got a lot to do yet, so join us next time for something. I don't know, if I haven't done it already by now, leave suggestions if you want, but I might have already recorded the next part before this one goes up, so. Don't necessarily be disappointed if I don't do what you wanted because it might have already been done. So yeah, see you guys again.